What else do we have on this list from Cruz? It's my turn. Oh, Sage is ready. Okay. <laughs> Listen. Dun 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 dun. TSL Sage here, my hot take of the week, bro. I'm not gonna lie. If there's one genre of entertainment that should be able to pull the if you don't do it, don't speak on it, rappers. I die by it as rappers. Me and Sage had this conversation on the timeline. So to reiterate, so he doesn't have to play the whole soundboard again. He said if there's one genre of entertainment. <laughs> 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 If there's one genre of entertainers that doesn't have or that can play the, you know, if you don't do it, don't talk about it card, it's rappers. And I want to go back to exactly what me and him said. But my question following that would be if we do what was it? Comedians. Hold on. Let me let me I I really want to get this because we actually had a pretty good dialogue. Me and Sage about this. He brought up. Comedians, YouTubers, athletes, you know, other types of entertainers, musicians um, in this category. So I asked him, what do you think is harder to become successful at? And I'm talking like award winning status level, 10 plus year career, um, you know, in that field. Do you think it's harder to obtain that status being an actor, comedian, YouTuber, athlete or, you know, like a musician or something like that? Is that a question for for everyone? Yeah, to anybody, yeah. The hardest to be award winning at? Ten year award winning, you know, caliber of this. For ten years in a row? No, no, no. It doesn't have to be ten years. Within the first ten years of your career? Oh, within the first ten just I won't even say mm, I won't even say it has to be the first ten years of your career. Just at any ten year stretch, you make that 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 goal happen. I think act, acting. Acting is like the most gate kept industry out of everything that you Yeah. Doing. That's what I was thinking too. So I said well, act, ironically I said acting as well. I think I think all of them have different barriers of entry. Well, I think they're all pretty like, you know, on the same level. But to get to the top, acting would probably be the hardest. And I think to have a ten year career, the next one for me will be content creation. I think it's. I think it's to be award winning, to be at, at like really streamy to, level type shit. Really to be that that too to be on that level for ten years, but also just to create content for ten years. Like I know we're coming up on it for uh, some of these guys, but how many people have we seen falling off in the ten year span? And then how many people have we seen really do it for ten years? You can say that about all the other industries, no? Um, I think there's a lot more actors that have been acting for 10 years. I think, though, also, like you talk about the, the ones that fell off early on. There was also no blueprint, though. Most actors since, like, the past 100 years, there's at least been a blueprint of the first few years. Oh, do you, I mean, to be fair, acting is a little more straightforward, I guess, because, you know, yeah, you act, whereas consecration is a lot more, if you're, if you're handling all of the business around it, it's a lot more to it, so... I could see why people fell off early on when there was no blueprint. Nobody previous that had fell off already. But that was, also, I mean, that also, was, I, I just feel case. like the sample size is like way too small to say that about content creation. Like, when does content creation real like really start to become a career? Like 2010, maybe 13. So it's really only been like 10 years. Yeah. So those 10 plus years career, uh, 10 plus year careers you're talking about, like they're literally just starting type shit. I don't know, because I guess they they would be classified as like actors. But is Paris Hilton a content creator? Nah, but sh- nah, that's stretching. You you know what I'm talking is about. Is Pinky though. a like, content creator? Porn star. No, I, I know who Pinky is. Relax. Um. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Would she be that's a content that. creator or adult film star? I don't. I don't know. I I do hear what you're saying. If and I and I'm not gonna act like oblivious. This this era of content creation that we're talking about, low key, we're in it. We're in it. But I think that all that, even with like in combination with what Click just said about um, there not being a blueprint as to how to make it for ten years, that that kind of backs the uh, argument right there that it's it would be harder. Uh, you know, to to make it like a ten year career, 
It's not you even mean, about that. Oh, my bad. I was gonna say you could be, you could be like Gento. Damn. I mean, he just mismanaged a lot of stuff pretty badly. And that's, that's like that. That's part of it, though. Like you said, I mean, you're a one man show. You're. I, I think what I, I this would be a, a crazy ass random number. Probably like eighty percent of content creators, eighty five percent are just one man shows. No matter the scalability, they just take on whatever is brought to them as a singular entity. Only only like a certain portion of them decide. You know what? It's time for me to get a team. For some creators, the idea of uh, splitting profit is like crazy to them. That's what I've noticed too. You take a oh, it was crazy money. to me for a while. <laughs> yes. Oh, you don't believe it still? Like, like you, no, fifty dollars no, 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 thumbnail? I don't believe it now. What do you, what do you feel thumbnail? like is worth spending the money on? Editing for sure. At least when I was editing for like six hours a day. Some long ass videos. Yeah, that's scary. Man. Yeah, I, I just had a video hit 10 million views. It's like four hours long. Probably did that for a while. Mm-mm. So I, th- I mean, yeah, I feel it. I do, I do agree. No, I, I don't know if I agree. Well, I heard Sage's argument as to why he said rappers are the ones who truly can be a part of the conversation if you haven't done it and don't talk about it. Like it's, you know, they could be the first ones to pull that card. Um, I would say that about porn stars. I ain't gonna lie. More than anybody. Mm. Talk about women taking like thirteen inches. That's crazy. 